is pretty simple. It just says that we are given an array of strings, strs. Now, we have to group the anagrams together. Now, what are anagrams? Anagrams are those words, if when rearranging the letters of different words, they are and form exactly one word. For example, if I have EAT and if I have TEA, so in some form I can rearrange them. Let's say I rearrange this and I get this T first and I get this E next and I get this A next. So basically rearranging any letter you can make it with you can make it equal to any other letter. So these two letters or these two strings are called as anagrams. Now you have to group all the anagrams together. As you can see that out of this input string which you had you grouped okay EAT, TEA and ATE are all anagrams because after rearranging them you can make them same and thus they will form one group and you can see thus you formed one group. For example for the next one which is TAN and NAT you can arrange you can again rearrange them so if you can again rearrange them then uh, it is NAT TAN because both can be rearranged as you can see you can make it as a TAN right and the last one remaining is BAT who has no other pair for him and thus he is alone as one character which is okay it he, he he doesn't have any more anagrams with him so this is what I will like give list of strings list of list of strings right so the first obvious thing which the problem itself was saying that we have to rearrange the letters of a string and make them equal now make them equal as in the character should be equal so for sure if i say you a t e and t e a you have to rearrange them and make them equal then which means you will just try okay if i have a, a here so a should be here now i will have to match these two strings only let's say a third string also come in let's say a e t it also came in then you will have to again go and match it Right, this is actually complex. Rather, if I can do something, I, I know, okay, anagrams is such that the characters are equal, as in, okay, the number of characters and the count of characters, all these are equal. So, one obvious thing which can come to our mind is that uh, we have this ATE, okay, let's, let's simply make the string, okay, out of this input string, let's make an output string such that for every one of them, the output string is same, output string is same. And the most obvious, most easiest thing is, okay, let's just simply sort it. Because if I sort it down, I'll become an AET. If I sort it down, I'll become an AET. So, I'll become an AET. What if R in it would have been something else? Let's say if it would have been an ATT, then sorting makes would have made it an ATT. Which is, then I will compare these values. But it is different. So, these two are anagrams, but it is not. While if it would have been an ATE, or let's say AET, or here it also is AET, then all three are anagram. So, and again, if I have even a repeating character, let's say A E E T, so I will have a A E E T. Let's say A T E, let's like, like this again, A E E T will be the sorted order. So, I can just compare that. Okay, how many strings have this equal? If yes, here, bro, uh, it is actually a anagram. Now, um, coming on back that how we can actually solve it we can simply just sort our input strings and the output string what we have got these all these who are same like that all these are anagrams so let's say these are the input strings which I had I will simply sort all these strings down okay I'll sort it down I be, I, I made it as a AT sort it down AT ANT AT ANT and ABT now I remembered all these all these ones who's have who have the sorted values as same will form an anagram so i will just clever them up so i'll just keep them as a key and this will be the value okay so i'll just keep this as a key and i i, I know the key of the values can be many because this is one value this is, this is second this is third so i can have many values so i'll just simply club them in a vector so i'll keep my unordered map because it is from a string to a vector of strings i will keep an unordered map so I'll just say, okay, AET, I can have these all as having, if I just simply sort them out, this will be the input string. And uh, if you remember, this is itself an anagram group. And the same way for ANT, I will have T and NAT. And for BAT, a ABT, I will have only BAT. Now, what I'll do ultimately, if you remember, I've written a vector of vector of strings, which means 
this is one list this is one list this is one list i have to return all the list of these anagrams so i will just push back this one list in my list this one list in my list this one list in my list in my answer now this is the most easiest way let's quickly see the code it's pretty simple that firstly we took an unordered map this string input string which is a key is actually a sorted 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 string and this is actually all the anagrams for that key right now you just iterated on that all the strings which you had in the input in strs and from that you firstly sort it down but if you will sort the string s down then depending upon how you are doing it or in which language it might sort the actual string itself so you can make another copy of it although 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 if you pass in by address then actually the string is sorted but if you pass in by value then okay the, the copy is made and then it is sorted so any way whatsoever you can simply um have it as sorted and when it is sorted okay this is the key for you and the original string value before sorting is the actual value for you and you will just keep on pushing back so that you will get a list of all the strings which are anagram and then ultimately when you have done which means you have this key and this list of strings in your map so you will have a key and the vector of strings now your anagram which you have to return you will just simply keep on pushing back in your anagrams this vector of strings and i do it that's why that's will be your answer now the time complexity will be o of n into k log k because you are sorting all these strings down you have n strings you sorted all these strings down and length of string is a k let's take a maximum length of string is k and the space is also o of n into k because of using an ordered map but this was the most obvious approach which we took but while we were speaking out we also took one we also said one thing the only reason which we sorted was that we wanted to convert we wanted to convert all these strings some kind of okay that i should convert all the input strings to some kind of a string or some kind of a value which i can compare all of them as same now one obvious way which we, which we thought of was sorting but we know it's the english alphabets and we have only to only 26 characters so one way could have been i would have taken a vector of like frequency so okay a having a frequency of one then b having a frequency of zero uh a c having a frequency of zero uh d having a frequency of zero e having a frequency of one and so on and so forth this is i could have taken and for sure it represents okay a is occurring one time e is occurring one time and so on and so forth so if it is same this vector of frequency if it is same for eat tea and eat which means they are from the anagram so now i realize rather than sorting i would have iterated on an entire string and would have made a vector frequency out of it but 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 if you remember even if you make this vector of frequency then ultimately what you were doing is the key was your vector of frequency and then the values will be the all these strings which is a vector of strings but if you will put the key as vector of int or maybe a frequency then you cannot use an unordered map you you cannot use an unordered map now because or you can use but you have to make a custom hash function which is pain in the ass so you cannot make something like okay unordered map of vector of int to uh, vector of int vector of int you cannot make something like this this will not work for an uh, unordered map if you want to make your key as see in a unordered map you can have a int string double all that stuff but you cannot have some complex data structure you cannot have a vector of int or a vector of strings or a set in a key so what you for for again for to resolve this you will have to use a map itself a simple map a simple map which whose complexity is n log n so then rn it would have been much better if i would have simply done a sorting so yeah you are true so now i realize i cannot use a vector of int as a as a key rather i can also convert that 26 length vector to a string itself then i can use my unordered map so what i will do is i know okay this is my vector frequency i convert this vector of frequency into my string and again the string i can use that in my unordered map it's the only reason i convert that to a string so what i will do is i'll have a one and then a hash zero and a hash two uh, a zero and a hash r and y hash is required in between because 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 we want to separate the frequencies of a 
B, C, D. But why I have I have to separate? Let's say the frequency of A is 12 and the frequency of B is 1. Right? If you will not place a hash here, then let's say if I ask you if your frequency of A is 1 and the frequency of B is 21. So this is a different both of these are different so you have to place a delimiter anything you can place your name also as a delimiter so you will place something let's say a hash hash or a hyphen is the most easiest forms like easiest considerations to visualize your input so we will simply place a hash after all the frequency of characters so now our task became that i will iterate on the entire string i will get the frequency out of all the characters in that string from that I will simply make a hash string. This hash string will be frequency of that character A, then B, then C, then D again. We'll make sure to put every character in the sequence because if you will just say, I don't, okay, if I have a A, B in the string uh, and then a D, so I'll just have a hash of one uh, hash, uh, one hash, and a one hash, which means one hash for A, one for B, one for D. Nah. Because if you had a A, B, C, then oh, again you will have one hash, one hash, one hash. So is that's the reason that's the reason one hash one hash and one hash that's the reason make sure that your hashes are one hash one hash zero hash and a one hash this zero represents the frequency of C. So I'll simply convert that to a hash and then whatsoever hashes are same that hash will be the string and that will be a key and the corresponding values will be the all the strings which made that specific hash. And the same way, I will get all these as a vector of strings and I simply push back to a list. The same, the exact same piece of code, it is the only change in this portion where earlier you were doing a sorting and now you will convert that string. Now, because earlier you are having a string, you converted that to a sorted string and then you use as a key, right? Now, I am just having that string, I converted that to a frequency, I will get the frequency of all the characters, of all the 26 characters, then from that vector, I will convert that to a hash string. So, let's initialize our hash string as an empty string right now. Now, I will just take the frequency of all the 26 characters, I will iterate on my input string S, update the frequency of all the characters I have. Now, from this frequency vector, I will have to update my hash string. I will just push back the frequency of the ith character, right? and then put, put put a hash after that character and then from this my hash is made so i know right now now my hash contains this input original string s now with this i have made a new key value pair now the key is nothing but not earlier my key was a sorted string now my key is a hash string so from this i'll simply again iterate and push back the anagrams and then get the anagrams as an answer now because of this conversion my log k log like log k factor will be gone because now i'm not sorting and it's simply of n into k and the type space also of n into k because you're actually using an or map again cool thing about watching see you back take care bye bye it was actually a very important question to discuss about strings it is asked in either phone screen or in the like initial rounds as an easy problem it is asked easy medium problem